When searching for articles in a database, you don't want to just type in your research question and hit search. The database will search for articles that only contain all of the terms you typed in, which will give you a small list of results that may not be useful. So what should you do then? This video will go over search strategies that you can use to help save you time and get you a better list of results. First, think about your research question and how you can break it down into major concepts. For example, let's say your research question is, how does social media affect teenagers' self-confidence? What are the main concepts in this question? Now you could try a database search with these terms, but you might miss out on some articles. For example, if an article talks about adolescents instead of teenagers, that article may not come up in your search results. So, think of some similar or related terms for each of your terms. Now that you have some potential search terms, you can start to form your search using AND and OR. Each of your major concept terms can go into an individual search box. Each box is connected with AND. This tells the database you want articles that include all of these terms. In each search box, you can connect your alternate or related terms using OR. Using OR tells the database you want to find articles with any of these terms. Next, anything that is a multi-word phrase, like young adult, you'll want to put quotes around. This tells the database you want these words to appear together in the articles it returns to you. Without quotes, the database will search for the terms independently of one another, and they may not appear together as a phrase in your search results. Now you'll want to determine where you want the database to search for these terms. In the drop-down menu next to each search bar, you can select from a variety of fields to search, like all text, author, title, subject, or abstract. When you select one of these options, you are telling the database to only search for those terms in that particular part of the article or article record. So for example, if we change the menu to abstract, the database will only search the abstract of articles for the search terms in that row. If the terms appear elsewhere in the article, that article will not appear in your search results. Finally, you'll want to look at any other search options available. You may want to limit your results to only full text articles and peer-reviewed articles. You may even want to select or set a publication date range so you get the most recent articles. Once you set those options, you are ready to search. If you aren't finding what you are looking for in your first set of results, don't worry. Research is a process, and there are a couple of things you can do here to change up your search results and find other useful articles. On your results list page, find a few articles that are close to what you are looking for. Read through the abstract and look at the subjects. Are there any terms there that might work better for your search? Or, back on your results list, take a look at the subjects menu in the toolbar. If you click on More Options, you can see all of the subjects that are appearing in your search results. Are there any potential search terms listed? Take note of any other terms you find and think about how you would modify your search to include these terms. Then go back to the search page and try again. Keep in mind that the search and results pages for each database will look a little different, but all of the same search strategies can be used and all of the same search options will be available. If you have any questions about selecting search terms, developing a search strategy, or finding useful articles for your research, contact a librarian by phone, email, or visit us at the reference desk. Thanks for watching.